Hi everyone, my name is Tim Poffenbarger and I wanted to showcase how you can use the JSON web token that comes with every CI job to really uh, offer some flexibility into trusting CI jobs and then granting access to external resources for CI jobs. Uh, this particular use case uh, is I have um, these independent CI jobs and I want to give developers API access, full unfettered API access um, to the GitLab API without having to rely on the, the CI job token, um, nor rely on a single user personal access token that would typically be stored in the um, CI variables settings uh, that's only tied to a single user for that project. So this is useful if you want to update badges within GitLab or push code back to the repository, download artifacts and you don't have the, the job token available, um, or really any GitLab API interaction. And uh, the gist of what this is going to do is this is uh, a, a external service, external to GitLab, that the developer can call out to and say, hey, I'm coming from this job. and the this external service will generate an impersonation token, which is a personal access token, uh, back to the developer and store that as an environment variable that they can then use uh, for subsequent calls to the GitLab API for the life of that job. In reality, what's what this looks like is uh, the so um, you can see that this is one of the API endpoints of many that um, is not accessible via the, the CI job token, but uh, utilizing this external service um, and passing the CI job JWT environment variable, which is storing a JSON web token, which is a, a, a trusted source for uh, letting an external service know who the user is, um, what job they're coming from, what project they're coming from, uh, so this JWT is being passed to this external service. The external service is uh, investigating that JWT. And then based on the user that pushed this play button, they're going to uh, provide a, an impersonation token of that person that played the job. And you can see utilizing this private token to this API endpoint, you can see that this is me. Unfortunately, this isn't all that useful because you can see that like the, the, personal access token that's generating this impersonation token is is me literally um, and I have admin access so uh, so let's go ahead and switch over to a different user and click retry real quick and one, one of the things that you know immediately comes to mind is like well what's preventing someone from you know playing this job and then exporting this pipe or this job token out to an, an external user and uh, or external service for use. Uh, so you can see that this uh, this personal access token got generated for this Tim Poffenbarger developer user, and that uh, when it made this curl call, it came back, and uh, you can see that it is indeed the Tim Poffenbarger developer user, and the job completed. So if we refresh this, we can actually see that that impersonation token was immediately revoked. Uh, so you don't have long-lived personal access tokens. They're very short-lived. They only live for a day, and then they immediately get revoked. Thanks for your time.